Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time tuning in, my name is Angel Marino, but you can call me Mac Daddy. And in today's video, I'm gonna do something a little different that I'm not used to doing. You guys know I'm all about the glow, the dewy skin, but in today's video, we're gonna do a completely matte makeup look. So that's no shimmer, no sparkle, no glow, nothing other than matte textures, matte skin, matte eyes, as you guys can see. This has definitely been a little bit of a challenge because I'm not used to just being completely matte, but I, you know, try to push myself and try different things. And I know that there's a lot of matte divas out there. So if you want to learn how to get this makeup look, then keep on watching. So we're gonna go ahead and start with skin. I'm gonna start off using this serum from Bare Minerals. This is the Skin Longevity Vital Power Infusion Serum. I've used this a few times and I kind of keep finding myself going back to it. I just really love the way that it makes my skin feel super plump, super hydrated, and just like super ready for my makeup. So I just like to blend this into my skin. I like to use a generous amount, I'm not going to lie. It's super hydrating, it's super plump, it feels really nice on my skin. The best way that I can describe it is it almost gives your skin like a slippery texture, if that makes sense. So everything just kind of like glides and like blends onto the skin really nicely. For my primer today, I'm gonna to be using this Marc Jacobs. This is the Undercover Blurring Coconut Face Primer. I literally love this, I've been using this a lot. I've thrown this in my makeup bag and I've been traveling with it and it just really makes such a huge difference. It does kind of feel a little silicone-y, so if you like those type of primers, you'll definitely love this one. I like to just take this and again, just like blend it all over my face. I find that like those two products together just make such a nice canvas. Make sure you guys are hydrating, A, always, always, always hydrate before your makeup. And of course, I always feel like a primer makes a huge difference, so I always love to use primers. For my foundation today, I'm gonna be using this new Pure Cosmetics. This is their four in one. That's right, you heard it, four things in one. Love your selfie foundation. Now, you guys know I have such a long history with Pure Cosmetics. I actually did a collaboration with them. Shout out to everyone that knows and remembers that collaboration that I did a few years back. Thank you to everyone that supported it. Pure has always been one of those brands that I just have like so much love for. I love everything that they do, everything that they stand for. And with this foundation, I was so blown away, not just because I think it's a great foundation, but because they actually did 100 shades. Like, not 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, like sis, they did a whole 100 shades. So shout out to Tisha, because I know that you worked so hard to develop this foundation range. I mean, can you imagine having to create 100 different colors and going through like the testing phase on like all kinds of different complexions? Like that is so much work and from someone that really truly understands product development, like Shout out, kudos to you. I'm so proud of you guys and I'm so proud of this foundation and yeah, I'm excited to use it. The cool thing about this foundation, it's actually like a concealer and a foundation in one. Now, this component I think is super genius because you can actually unscrew it and it has a little doe foot, if you guys can see. And the doe foot is like how you can apply it as a concealer, but if you wanna use it as a foundation, it is a pump. So it's a super, super innovative component. I thought it was so cool when I saw it. I know that there's a lot of foundations that say that they're a concealer and a foundation, like two in one, but I felt like this component was just like super innovative and super genius and I really, really like it. The shade that I'm gonna use is TN3. Now the way that the range works is they have it broken down by different undertones and then from there, obviously like from light to dark. I'm just gonna pump a little bit of this onto my face and then we're gonna blend it out with the Beauty Blender. I think this is a really, really great color for me. It's pretty spot on. I mean, I think it's one of those things, you guys know I tend to go a little bit warmer with my foundations, but I feel like this is pretty spot on. Like it's pretty much like my skin tone. Like, I never find like an exact match. So the thing that I like about this foundation is it feels really lightweight on the skin. It doesn't have like a weird texture. You know like sometimes some foundations can feel sticky or heavy, like it definitely does not feel like that at all. The coverage is great. I mean, it definitely, you can sheer it out. Obviously, I feel like you can sheer a lot of foundations out, um, but you don't need to layer it a lot to get like full coverage. And you guys know I love my full coverage. So this definitely is full coverage approved. And it's a really nice texture. It's like a really nice looking finish. Like it looks like skin, it looks fresh. It doesn't look like overly matte, so where you look like super dry, like you need to drink some water, you know what I mean? But it definitely isn't like overly glowy or oily looking. It's just like a really nice skin-like finish. I always gotta get up here. Gotta lift my little hairs up. I'm back to black, by the way. Um, I go in and out of my phases of feeling like really bored with my look, and I kind of went through it last time, and then like two months later, I was like, okay, like I, I need to go back to black. Um, I also got a new tattoo in the Hamptons with Maybelline, so you guys will be seeing her a lot when I do these videos. I literally want to get this entire like arm completely just like covered. Very like Zoe Kravitz vibes. 
You know what I mean? All right, so I feel good about this. I love the finish, I love the coverage, and I think for $36, it's a super affordable foundation. It's a great foundation. So if you're in the market for a new foundation, if you're in the market to find a shade that's just for you, if you have a hard time finding a shade, this foundation comes in 100 shades, so definitely check it out. I think you guys are really gonna like it. For my concealer, I'm gonna be using this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. Now, I have to be completely honest with you guys, I'm not huge on drugstore concealers. I'm just not. You guys know that my go-to is normally like my NARS Radiant Creamy, um, but I was in the Hamptons with Maybelline, and I mean, I've used this before, and I don't know why I didn't realize before like how good this is. I was in the Hamptons with Maybelline, and I used it again, and I was like, dang, like I really, really love this. Threw it in my makeup bag, I've been using it ever since. I'm sure a lot of you guys have tried this. If you guys have tried this and you love it, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what other drugstore products you guys really, really love because I want to do another drugstore video for you guys. I did one a while back. I haven't done one in a minute. So any drugstore recommendations that you're like, this is hot fire, let me know in the comments. But this baby right here is so good. Like literally like full coverage. Like it just really gives me my life. So I'm just going to go ahead and go in with this. And I'm using shade 121 Light Honey. You guys know I use Hella Concealer. I just like literally packed it on. And I'm just using my Beauty Blender to really buff it out. I really like how smooth it looks. It just looks really smooth. Really nice and smooth. It makes my under eyes just look really nice and snatched. I'm gonna add just a tad more, just like a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit more. Just like right in the inner corners, just a little bit. Just like that. And to set my under eye area, I'm gonna go in with this Pure Translucent Setting Powder. Now, I used to love this, I still do. I love this product very, very much so. This used to be like my go-to all the time. The only thing that I do not like is I do not like this packaging. It's just kind of a little difficult to get the product out. I see where they were going with it by adding like a little sponge at the end, but I typically just kind of like shake it out from here. I just got a fresh brand new one, so when it's new and fresh, it's always easy to just like shake out a little bit of product, but when you start running low, it's like a nightmare trying to get the product out. But the powder itself is Amazing. I just wish it was in a different component. However, still a bomb ass product, still gonna use it. And I'm just going to apply this with like a stippling brush. And I like to just kind of press underneath my eye area and everywhere that I've applied it. If you wanna be extra, extra matte, this is definitely the powder for you. It really does create a nice smooth finish. It almost looks airbrushed. Don't you think like from this side to this side, like it just looks like nice and velvety and matte and smooth. So I definitely love what it does when it comes to setting my under eyes. To set the rest of my face everywhere else where I haven't applied that powder, I'm gonna go in with this Pure Cosmetics. This is their four in one pressed mineral powder. I also love this product. I'm gonna go in with a shade light tan, but what I like to do is I like to go in with a big brush and I kind of like to toggle between this powder and the translucent powder, kind of a little combination, a little hybrid moment. And then I just lightly kind of press it everywhere that I haven't applied any powder. And again, I'm just doing like a light pressing motion. I don't like to like buff because I don't want to move anything around. I'm literally just kind of pressing it into the skin. Look how pretty that looks. Nice and smooth, nice and matte. I'm gonna also use it on my forehead to set all the product up here. All right, I feel good about that. We're gonna move on to a little bronzer. For my bronzer, you guys know I love my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, medium tan. Holy Grail, we're gonna go in with this. And this Bare Minerals brush that has literally been a life changer. This is the Seamless Shaping and Finishing Brush. I love to use this when it comes to my bronzer. Just gonna dip in here, get our bronze on. And you guys know I like to just buff it in circular motions in the hollows of my cheeks. I swear, it's like face tuning in real life when you are bronzing and you are contouring your cheeks because I literally go from like potato to like snatched. And if you guys are wondering why this is my holy grail bronzer, it's literally because it is so smooth. It blends out so beautifully. It's not like patchy or streaky. It's like the perfect amount of warmth and it just blends so nicely, which is like the best part. Can't forget our forehead. Just gonna kind of add a little warmth around the perimeters. Just right in here. And since I have it out, I'm also gonna contour my nose a little bit with this bronzer. I just like to take a nice blending brush and I just kind of do the perimeters of my nose. And to kick up the snatchery, we're gonna add a little bit of that translucent powder just to kind of clean up the outside of my nose, just kind of make it look a little bit more pinched, a little more snatched. I'm just picking it up with a beauty blender and applying it on the side. All right, we're gonna just let that simmer. You guys see how it just like, just pinches it. Once we kind of dust it off after we let her simmer a little bit, it's just gonna give us that appearance of a more snatched nose, which we always love. 
I'm going to move on to my eyebrows, which I'm really excited about because I just got this thing done to them from my friend Vanessa that does my brows. Shout out to VC Face Beauty. She did this thing, it's like this new technique called brow lamination because I told her I've been obsessed with my brows looking like more model s just kind of like bushy and just kind of pushed up so she did this thing where like she kind of permanently kind of made it easier for me to just literally just make them more bushy looking kind of brush them up if that makes sense so i'm excited to do my brows because i haven't done them since she's done this for me so i'm gonna go in with i'm gonna start off with this maybelline this is a tattoo studio brow pomade this is in the shade what shade is this oh my god 380 deep brown you guys know i love this i mean look at how much of it i've used like there's not a lot left. And I'm gonna go in with this MAC 230. I've had this brush for so long. I don't even know what this is. This brush, this one, it's like a two, I think it's a six and a six and an S and an H. So with this brow pomade, I like to just align the bottom of my brow just to kind of give it some more shape and extend my tail just a little bit. All right, now that I fill them in, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of concealer just to clean them up a tiny bit. I love this NARS. This is the Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I use the shade Custard, and I just use a nice flat brush. I like the texture of this for under my brows because it blends out really nicely. We're gonna do very little, just kind of like right at the little corner. We're not gonna do it like all the way across. And the last thing we're gonna do to the brows is we're gonna set them and brush them up a little bit. I'm gonna use this Lancome. This is their brow styler. This is in the shade 03. And we're just gonna push them up, set them. So I know they might look a little crazy right now because it's literally all you see is brow. We don't have like our eyes and our lashes on yet. So yeah, just bear with me. We're gonna get there. I promise you she's gonna come together. For my eyes today, I'm gonna be using this Rustic Glam Palette from Dominique Cosmetics. I love this baby so much. And since we're keeping the theme of matte looking makeup, there's tons of really great matte shades in here, tons of great transition shades. So this is gonna be the baby that we're gonna use for this look. I'm just gonna go for it and we're gonna start off using this shade Fringe which is this shade right in here. It's like a nice soft brown, and we're gonna buff this all over our crease. This is a nice, like, soft brown. She's just gonna give us some nice depth. She's really gonna contour the eye really nicely. So now that we have blended that color all out in our crease, we're gonna go in with this kind of terracotta shade down here. This is suede, and I'm going in with a brush that's slightly smaller than the last one that I used, just so I can get a little bit more precise. And I'm kind of just staying like right in the outer corner with that color, just adding some nice definition. I'm also gonna take that same shade and run it underneath my lash line, just to kind of frame my eyes a little bit more. I'm gonna go back in with that NARS concealer and a flat brush. And I'm just gonna add this onto my eyelids, just to kind of, kind of do a little cut crease, kind of not really, but just kind of give it a base for like the lightest shade to go onto my eyelids. You guys know I always love to do like a shimmer or something sparkly on my eyelid that I feel like that's kind of like my go-to. So challenging myself to just do like all matte on my face is a little kind of like <gasps> So for my eyelids, I'm gonna be using two matte shades. I'm gonna go in with Fringe, which is what we used in our crease, and this shade Free Spirit. I'm just gonna kind of go back and forth and just kind of lightly just wash it all over my eyelid where I just laid down that base. I'm gonna start off with the shade Fringe and I'm lightly just kind of dust all over my eyelid where I laid down that base. Just really lightly back and forth. And then with that lighter shade Free Spirit, we're gonna kind of go in the inner corners a little bit more. Okay, so I'm feeling good about the eyes, nice and matte. We have some nice definition going on, some nice contour to the eyes. I'm gonna throw on a pair of lashes and I will be right back. So the lashes that I popped on are Lily Lashes. These are in the style Mykonos. I'm gonna dust off this baking powder now that we've let it simmer for a little bit and we're gonna finish this look. Just dusting all of this off. You can see she is nice and snatch looking. I'm gonna go in with that same brush that I used earlier with a little bit of that bronzer and just kind of lightly just dust over just a little bit. For my lips, I'm gonna use a Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick from Pure Cosmetics. This is in the shade O Bay, which is like a nice nude. I like this formula a lot because it doesn't feel too dry. It just feels like nice and creamy. Like you can still move your lips around, but it's still super opaque and it's nice and comfortable, which is always good. We always want the lips to feel nice and comfy. And to top off the lips, I'm gonna go in with this gloss. This is in the shade DIY, which is like a nice pinky nude tone. This gloss feels so nice on my lips. I love this color. The last thing that I'm gonna do is I set my makeup with this Clinique Moisture Surge Facial Spray. Now this is gonna give our skin like a lot of hydration, which 
I want right now because I feel like I'm so matte and I have a lot of powder. Although this is supposed to be a matte look, like we still wanna be a little hydrated, so this is just gonna hydrate our skin and just give us a little bit of life. We give ourselves a couple of spritzes. Mm, it smells so good. All right, guys, that basically completes this matte makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial on how to achieve this look. I feel a little weird that I don't have like any glow or any doingness going on. You guys know I'm all about the glow, all about the doingness, but it's really nice to kind of, you know, try something different, step outside of my comfort zone. So for all of my matte divas, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments if you guys prefer more like matte looking makeup or more like glowy, dewy looking makeup. I'm really curious to know because I feel like I'm just a biased person because I just like love glow, but I know that there's a lot of people that love to be super matte and velvety, so let me know which team you are. And before you go, don't be shady, be a lady, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bells on so that you never miss a beat. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.